Hello. Today we are going to talk about the Episoft Transact tool. In this demo, we are going to show you how Episoft Transact is used for optical character recognition and how we at Dopio Group use this tool to extract the supplier information which is present on any supplier invoices. So in this tool, uh, we start with creating a batch class. A batch class uh, will include all the sample of all, all the sample invoices which is provided to us by the customer and we train a batch class with almost 35 to 40 different suppliers which are mostly heavy volumes so once we configure those suppliers we go ahead and test uh, the batch class which we developed using the suppliers that we train and the ex and the extra suppliers so this is an overview of the episoft transact tool this is a sample uh, batch class that we developed in this batch class, if I open this batch class, we will have all the supplier, different different rules that we configure and all the different header information or all the different fields that we intend to extract from any present supplier invoice. So I'm just gonna go ahead and show you how exactly we configure. We write different regular ex uh, expressions to, to extract the fields which is present on any uh, supplier invoices. So we write different rules. We try to give them uh, different priorities based upon how uh, heavy volume those suppliers are. And once we feel that, okay, this uh, this rule is working perfectly fine, then we go ahead and test the same. So we have a key and a value pair here, and then we write different regular expressions according to it. And then once we hit, it's gonna show you how confident the, the OCR engine is according to the value. And that's how we try to uh, fetch the supplier in uh, different, different supplier details from any uh, supplier in invoice. Now I'm gonna show you how uh, how once we drop the uh, drop the invoice, how all the different fields are extracted, like the invoice number, invoice date, and PO number, and all these extra information. So let's dive into it. Now, we want to extract the whole supplier information. So for that, what we do is we go to upload batch class, and this is not going to be when we uh, go live or when we go into the production environment. We we have a functionality of configuring an email address where all the emails are sent, uh, where the supplier invoices are uh, attached to it. And the Episoft is smart enough to capture the supplier invoices and start processing it. So the upload uh, up upload batches for us like developers, where we're gonna test end-to-end -end solutions. So here we just drag and drop uh, supplier uh, invoices and we select the batch class that we develop. And then we see how the Episoft is uh, able to extract the uh, supplier details from it. So I have two different invoices with me. I'm just gonna drag and drop it over here. I'm gonna select which batch class I want to run uh, Run these. So, so I'm gonna select BC7, which is the batch class which we developed. And we click on the start batch. So once these are 100%, uh, we just click on start batch and then it is succeeded. So now in order to see where this batch class is, we go to batch instance management, we click here. And then we will see all the different batch classes which is already extracted here. So we are gonna wait for a minute or so uh, until the batch class, uh, sorry, until the, uh, the supplier invoices that we dropped. So the, okay, so we have it here. So this is the new one. So now, yeah, uh, so once all these different modules are extra, uh, all these different modules are successfully executed, it's gonna uh, come and it's going to be sitting uh, in the ready for validation state for us in that case we go and we open the batch class and we see whether all the information extracted by the episode is correct or not if it is not then we just manually make all the changes and it's not very hard to make the changes it's just uh, clicking on what the correct fields are uh, this is done extraction model is done automated okay so now this is in ready for validation state we're gonna select this, we're gonna hit open, and we're gonna click okay. So we drop two different supplier invoices, and as you can see, all the informations here uh, looks correct. The invoice number is correct, the date format. So uh, so we have made some changes in the batch class where any different uh, format of the date will be converted into uh, year, month, and day, followed by the purchase order number, net Net, uh, net terms, the total amount and the net, uh, net amount. So we don't have the tax uh, tax amount over here. So that field is empty. And for the accounting entity, we can, uh, I mean, for example, if you want uh, the Episoft to run for two to three different uh, company and 
division. So what we're going to do is we are just going to go in the bachelor's development and we are going to just edit uh, and we are going to add a different different uh, company and division. So one, so once the accounts payable uh, representative come, so they can just select which uh, company and uh, division they want the supplier invoice to go in M3. So this is the scenario where all the different uh, invoices, sorry, all the different fields are extracted correctly. We can also see, uh, okay, so here we see that for this, uh, I mean, for this supplier, the invoice is, I mean, so the invoice is not extracted correctly. It took invoice. So this is going to happen. It's not going to happen more often, but this might be the case. So what all we need to do is just select, uh, see where the, the correct invoice uh, number is. So we see this is the correct invoice number. So we just select the field and we click on the number that we want. So it's going to extract it correctly. And we see that the PO number is also not extracted. So we are going to see where the PO number is. We just going to click on it and it is going to be extracted. So I'm just going to remove the extra fields and rest everything looks good to me. Here we have net, net terms, we have total amount and we have the net amount. So once we see, uh, so once we are comfortable that, okay, all the information here extracted are correctly, are correct. So what we're going to do is just go ahead and validate the batch. So once we uh, validate all these fields, so we have also put invoice somewhere in invoice date as a force review so that the uh, the episode don't directly i mean so the episode has a functionality of directly transmitting the invoices as soon as it is extracted to idm and m3 but we want a user to verify all the information since this is an accounts payable and we need to pay to our suppliers so we want to be 100 percent sure that the uh, the i mean the fields as extracted are correct or not so we have put invoice number invoice date as a force review so we need to click uh, validate understand until all these fields are out of the red area for example like here it was a red already so we're going to just hit validate so once we are uh, done with uh, like all these uh, sons, like we are comfortable with all the extracted values we are going to hit ok so now what it's going to do is it's going to go into idm and m3 and this is this will be ready and uh, as soon as the export module is run so we will be able to see this invoice in idm as well as in m3 uh, that covers the demo of Episoft Transact tool. Thank you.